The Immunolytics Mold Checkup is the do-it-yourself mold test with support from environmental experts. It includes a detailed report from our laboratory showing the mold found as well as possible health effects. Let's walk you through the basics of understanding that report and preparing for the consultation with an environmental expert. As soon as your report's ready, you'll receive it as a PDF attachment to an email. You can also find the report by logging into your account at immunolytics.com and then clicking on My Reports. PDFs are viewable on nearly any device, but if you have any trouble, download the free Adobe Acrobat Reader from your app store or search for it online. On the first page of your report, you'll see the information you provided to the lab on your lab processing form, followed by how your samples were handled. And here, a summary of your results. The important number to note here is the total count. We'll come back to this number in just a minute. On the next page or pages, each of your samples are listed out with the genera of mold that was found, as well as how many colonies of each genera was present on your plates. We do note if bacteria was found on any of your samples. However, we do not include that number with the total mold count. This is noteworthy because the plates that we use actually deter bacteria growth. So the presence of bacteria is an additional indication of the biological condition of the sampled area. Any swab samples will be listed as well. Swab samples, or bulk samples, don't include counts, but rather percentage present. We'll cover how to interpret swab samples in just a moment. On the last page of this section, we include a picture of your sampling plates, so you can see exactly what we analyzed. While seeing these plates can be disturbing, it's extremely helpful to see what was present in each sample. Please note that your picture results are in the same order as your reported samples, red left to right, top to bottom. So this would be the first sample, the second sample, etc. On the next pages are the interpretations of the results. We'll begin with interpreting gravity plate or air results. In the middle of this page is a table that includes a health scale that is corresponding to the air samples. Use this table by comparing the total counts for each air sample in the previous section of this report. This indicates how someone's health could be impacted by the mold detected in the area sampled. On the health scale, a total colony count of 0 to 4 is considered normal or with an acceptable range for most of the population. A total colony count of 5 to 8 could be causing illness to any of the occupants that are most susceptible. A total colony count of 9 or more could be hazardous to someone that is mold susceptible. Please note that any total listed as TNTC, or too numerous to count, is far above the listed health scale. If any of your samples have 5 or more total colonies within a sample, we can provide you with recommendation as to how to lower that overall number during our consultation. Interpreting swab samples or bulk results. Refer to the swab results on the samples details page. The percentage surface of area observed to have mold contamination is an estimation of the amount of the swab surface that is covered by mold. 10% or greater typically indicates mold contamination of the sampled area. The composition of mold contaminated area begins with an estimated breakdown of spores and mycelia fragments with the most useful information being the organism and percentage out of 100% of the mold observed. Any amount of alternaria, catomium, or stachybotrys can potentially affect someone's health. However, Swab sampling alone is not able to measure exposure, but is meant to identify sources of mold growth and the types of mold, and often correlate to air samples taken at the same time. The final pages of your report list the mold that was present, with a description of that mold and where they're commonly found. For example, if Candida, Nocardia, or Rhodoterula is found, those are usually indicative of pet or human contamination. If candida in high levels are found in any of your samples, 
you may want to talk to your healthcare provider, as it might be an undiagnosed yeast infection. Yeast infections are common in both men and women, and the most effective treatment method for yeast infections is to lower the overall candida count within the body as well as within the environment. Finally, any known mycotoxins are listed in this section. Mycotoxins are naturally occurring organic compounds produced by mold and are categorized as biotoxins. Mycotoxins are some of the most carcinogenic, naturally occurring compounds, and thus, they should be kept at a minimum within your environment. We encourage you to review all the parts of your report thoroughly. Now that you've looked over your report, you're ready for the final element of the Immunolytics Mold Checkup, a phone consultation with one of our environmental experts. You'll find the final page of your report is a consultation worksheet. Please complete part two, preparing for your consultation, so you'll have the information ready to share with your consultant. If you requested a consultation when you completed your lab analysis form, one of our environmental experts will contact you within three business days. If you did not request a consultation but would like one, please reach out to us and we'll get you scheduled. Contact us at immunolytics.com. Immunolytics, answers for your health.